Hello, Petko. Do you hear me? Hi, Tom. I can hear you. Can you say something about you before we start with uh, Shopify guide? Yes, my name is Petko. I'm 23 years old from Bulgaria. I'm a student and I do dropshipping from about two years. So initially I started to dropshipping, but I didn't do it uh, consistently. Uh, I was creating stores, testing some products, then deleting the stores starting after a few months. Uh, so I didn't do it consistently in the beginning. But one year ago, or even more like the previous year, 2020, about September, I said to myself that I really want to succeed in the dropshipping. So uh, I created my store and I said to myself that I will not stop even if, if my store fails, even if the product doesn't work. So I started testing products and uh, I found a little bit of success initially. And then I faced my first uh, Facebook page ban. There was a massive ban wave the previous year due to the elections and uh, my account was banned. So I decided to work for a um, dropshipping uh, product uh, analyzer for a, for a while. And I started working for one guy from Belgium. After seeing the things from the inside, I saw that I'm actually doing everything correctly. So I just uh, need to uh, keep up testing. So I made a new page on different account. I started testing the products again. And uh, one day I just found my product. Uh, by the time I woke up, I was already profitable. So this was the moment which I knew that I wanted something and uh, that's all the hard work and consistency was paid off. Awesome. You have around uh, 300,000 dollars uh, for the last nine months. I will share the results on the screen currently. And uh, I have a lot of questions because I want clearly to explain what's the difference in the dropshipping business these days compared with the dropshipping business few years ago because it's full with people in internet, influencers that want to sell their courses and they do their best to tell to people that this is very easy job and everybody can do this without uh, money and only with a uh, few clicks. Uh, let's start from, from somewhere. Uh, you have... Uh, You are only 23 years old. Uh, how much time takes you to understand everything? How much time takes you to, to start in this business and uh, to receive this, to achieve these results uh, in only nine months after that? Yeah, so in the past nine months, I generated over $300,000 in the revenue. And uh, It took me a while because uh, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos, that's how I start. I was watching a lot of YouTube videos uh, from YouTube gurus and I was trying to I was trying to understand how everything works, but I was taking information from many different places and it was really messy for me. So I just had to test uh, many different things to see what works for me. There is uh, There is not one strategy which will work for everyone. So you have to experiment and test test different ways to see what works for you. So with time, it, it uh, becomes harder and harder to start in the dropshipping. In 2017, it was very easy for people to sell. 2018, those are one of the easiest years uh, to do dropshipping. Uh, literally, whatever you put, like an ads in Facebook, you could sell it with uh, minimum marketing skills. But now the market is overflowed with uh, newcomers. Uh, the advertising became really expensive. The competition is uh, really high, so it's, it's very hard right now, but it will be even harder after a few months or one year. So the best start And the best time to start if you want to do this business is now. 
because uh, with time, Facebook, Stripe, and uh, the other uh, marketing channels, they will become stricter and stricter. So, for example, Facebook implemented a uh, very strict Facebook uh, page score uh, policy, which sends surveys to customers. Before, you could adjust the survey uh, to about eight months. Now, you can do that. It sends after automatically after five uh, uh five weeks i'm oh, sorry uh, not months weeks so it, it sends uh, after five weeks automatically to the customer after the customer purchase from you so the customer gets a survey about uh, his purchasing experience so if he received if he or she received the product broken or uh, he, he or she waited like one month or more for this queue he will just give you a low feedback score. And when your feedback score drops to two, your uh, advertising page gets disabled and you can't do anything about it. You can't appeal it. It's, it's permanent and you can't advertise anymore on this page. So you have to uh, find a new ways to create a new account on a different person name. You have to create a new page, warm it up because when you start right now, you have to start slowly. Facebook knows uh, if you are an advertiser with experience, for example, because when you get a new page and start advertising right away, Facebook will know that this is not a beginner. You have to act like a beginner uh, in order everything to go smoothly. So you have to warm up the account for about one or two weeks, start with page engagement campaigns, and slowly transition into conversion campaigns. So everything becomes harder with time, uh, but you just have to play the game, uh, start slowly, uh, test products, and find your own way to the top. Okay, thank you about this advice. I have uh, I have one request. Uh, we do this in my channel in Bulgaria yesterday, my YouTube channel. Then uh, I, I think that it will be good idea to do this in English also. Um, let's let's open the table in Bulgaria and uh, about the skills and fees for the product, real profit calculation to do the calculation and to share for the beginners what they need to start dropshipping, how much money they need, how to calculate the profit of the products, and what uh, to give them some advices uh, if they prefer to use Shopify, because you are an expert here in Shopify. I have experience only with WooCommerce and I know all your tools, but uh, I know the equivalent in, in WooCommerce, because uh, when we exclude the mail service and uh, uh, the advertising tools and maybe the research tools if you do the drop shipping same way from aliexpress or similar websites then you don't do anything similar to me because the every tool has different name different price the service is totally different okay i share my screen now with you this is the table here and uh, yesterday we discussed with you about the Product, product, yes. uh, price. Uh, this is, was dollars. Then uh, yes. this is order price. This is selling price. Selling price. Uh, this is uh, Stripe tax, advertising, and uh, profit. Uh, I want to say something about each of this. Order price is the price that we pay for the product with all additional taxes. If you sell in uh, USA and you need to pay sales taxes, this is with the sales taxes. If you sell in UK and you need to pay VAT, then this is with VAT extra 10, 20%. It depends from the niche of the item. A selling price is total price of your web store. Stripe tax is the card card tax. Uh, some of the this is card processor card processor uh, tax. Then yeah, you, can, you can yeah yeah you can use Braintree. You can use whatever you want. This is the tax there. Ads. This is advertising. It can be Google. It can be Facebook. It can be any any place that you do the marketing. Cause it's not 
it's not a uh, 100% that you need to use only Facebook. Facebook is very strong, but it's very uh, hard now because of the competition and because of the privacy. We will talk about the privacy later. I will write here privacy. Okay, let's before start everything, let's let's just do the comparison between Shopify and WooCommerce. Uh, because I I I really work with WooCommerce. I am very happy with that. Then uh, what you will told to the people about the Shopify, why you choose that platform? Okay, so Shopify is very easy to use platform and you don't need any coding experience in order to use it. So mostly it's like a drag and drop. The menus are really easy to navigate. Uh, there are many different apps which you can integrate in your store. So everything is uh, basically it's very, very easy to use. Many different apps. Uh, it's famous platform. A lot of develop developers work on it and make uh, a lot of different apps. Okay, yes. then then it's easy for work. Uh, many apps. Uh, actually, Actually, okay, this is a uh, pros, maybe. Okay, what's about the, yes. the cons? Okay, so you have to you have to pay definitely you have to pay a monthly fee, and uh, so the lowest fee is twenty nine. Uh, the highest depends from. Uh, from your plan, but it can go like over one hundred dollars. Depends from your plan. Uh, other accounts, uh, you can't really customize it so much like WooCommerce. So you can't make so many customizations like in WooCommerce. Okay, That's then fun. less less customizations. Yes. Less amount of. Sometimes it can be slow because you have many different apps and so you can't touch everything from the code, so it can be slow if it's not properly optimized. So okay. that's... Mm, that, that, that's a negative thing. Actually, this is what I was <laughs> on the way to say that uh, you don't have own server. Then you... Uh, when you are newbie, when you are newbie, this is perfect. It is perfect for new people. I, I'm having currently course in, uh, for WooCommerce in Bulgaria. When my clients come, the first problem is how to administrate the server. This is the first thing that you need to know when you start the WooCommerce because otherwise you need to pay for someone to do the business for you, to do the settings and everything. Then this is fixed in, in Shopify. Yes. Uh, but uh, from time to time, it is hard because when you buy Shopify store, you don't have access to that server and you don't have ability to pay for the bigger plan or to change the uh, server space, place uh, in, in, in the real world when you can use the CDN, some, some systems that do the, the, the website faster. But don't, uh, don't think that WooCommerce is not slow sometime. Um, it is very hard uh, because WooCommerce is, uh, is on WordPress and WordPress is not very good optimized. It's full with plugins and it's full with uh, extra code that it's not okay. Uh, it, it is very funny because as a software engineer at the beginning when I was starting to, I will give you the example here. When I, I starting to create a zero to success website and we start with this website and I built a web page here and I start start uh, testing the website and uh, I realize that everything that I have here as a script everything is loaded here at the every page that I have and I was thinking what's going on here why this platform load everything let's me log in here one second. 
just I will do this to for a security reason to another browser because I, I changed my login uh, login page for a security reason. Uh, it's it's uh, ne- something uh, very good to, to be done. Then you can't log in with a slash or something like that. Uh, it will, yeah, you can go here now, but you can't log in with this URL address. Usually I change the URL address because if somebody hack my user and password, this is something good. Then listen what I mean. I'm full with plugins. And when I, when I do something, when I install some plugin, uh, I, I I will give an example here. This is not the problem in Shopify actually, I tested already. When I go here, just, I have some plugin for uh, my educations. I have some plugin for a uh, counter here or some other plugins. It's not in matter what's the plugin. And I, I go and I say, okay, let's let's go to the pages and create a new page. When I create this new page and publish the page, this page loads all the plugins around without use them, without lose them, it's just just load them. And I say, what the fuck is, is going wrong here? Why this, this, uh, actually this is some uh, saved, uh, saved page. I need to write test one, two, three. Yeah, this is the page. Okay, then in normal situation, when I was working as a software engineer, for to create this page, you need to write only one title and uh, one field with the test and one uh, bo- uh, footer in, in this situation. But now, uh, when you use WordPress, this is the people problem that they didn't realize, you need to load uh, tons of the extra code and a lot of scripts that are not they don't need to be here. This is PayPal payment. This is a uh, WooCommerce JavaScript. This is a uh, JavaScript, JavaScript, Java, tons of the bullshit. And this page would, uh, when you test it, uh, the first the first place, uh, the most important thing when you want to do the SEO, search engine optimization, is to have a uh, fast website. Best page, yeah. Even Best you use the dedicated server for thousand uh, dollars monthly, you will receive slow website when you use the WooCommerce. And because of that, we use uh, WP Rocket. This is very good plugin. Uh, this cache everything, but uh, it has some problems like uh, before load in most situations broke the page for a while. Um, it, it's in the beginning, at the beginning, we was having problems with the counters and with uh, the things. And yeah, it, it has pros, but it has huge cons. This is not, uh, this is better optimized for Shopify because they are, uh, I think that they do better job uh, of the scripts and they don't have so flexibility. But I, I think that they good, very good, good job with the optimization. Uh, that's what I want to say. Uh, if somebody wants to learn a little bit more about the dropshipping, arbitrage, he can download my free book from the page Zero to Success. Okay, then. Um, uh, um, did you one more thing I okay. just uh, uh, talked about is about the checkout page. You can't customize the checkout page in Shopify unless you use some plugin, uh, which is which is not directly integrated with Shopify. So basically, at the checkout page, uh, uh, you can do it in the cons. You, you, can, the you, cons. Can't, you yeah. can't change yeah. the checkout. Yes, so basically the checkout page is a conversion rate QR in Shopify. That's how they go. Because you have to do many different steps. It's not on, exactly on one step to write your address and your character to pay, you first have to write your address, then you have to click continue, then you have to choose other option, and then after that you, you can pay. And mm-hmm. all those steps, uh, they're conversion keywords. Because customers want to check out as quickly as possible, as seamlessly as possible. So you can't really 
change this checkout page. Before, you could integrate one app and change it into one page checkout, but uh, now you can't. It, you can uh, hardly do it. You have to contact uh, the people which created the page, ask for permissions, and it, it's, it's hard to do. It's hard to do. It's not very easy. So I'm not sure how it's in WooCommerce. Can you customize the checkout page? Yes, the way we, it have, uh, we have one plugin here that's called the IRO Checkout. And we can install it and uh, actually uh, we we can uh, we can customize the checkout page uh, uh, and we can do the totally different page with the steps with one step two two steps three steps but when you want to do the upsell you need to manually create uh, the things this is very good in WooCommerce because now I will show you here we have uh, uh, I, I know that the conversion rate goes down with thirty percent with every next field that we have. Then if somebody come here and we have five fields, uh, if I have uh, currently 5% conversion rate, if I add extra three fields, this will be from 5% will go down to around a 2% because he need to fill a lot of things. When you write here, uh, name, um, my email address uh, and my number. And when you sign up, uh, actually, if you want to see something like, now I have a PayPal debit card bank transfer option. And uh, if, if I want to do this in WooCommerce without doing any changes, uh, this is not customizable. Then uh, you, have, uh, you have an option that it's integrated, but uh, it's integrated and it's work for, uh, especially for one type of the, the, the process. Uh, customer go, add to the cart, go to the cart and click checkout as a guest or normal checkout after the registration. Then you have the step, I am a guest, you have step I, I will do the registration and of course you have login if you, if you already have a registered account. Uh, in this situation, I want my customer to come here to sign up and just to, to, to write only three fields, not more because the conversion goes down and to choose the, the debit card, PayPal and the information to be filled. Then if this customer come again after two days, it, it will be saved in the system and he will click. And this is something that you need to customize. If you want to use WooCommerce, you can use it for everything, but you need to be a very good programmer uh, to have ability to change the code. Uh, like uh, I will show you now, I have a list with all my clients. I have my admin panel and uh, in, in my admin panel, I have ability to to uh, add the courses, to add the clients, uh, and my, my clients go here. Uh, they can they can log in uh, in the system and they can watch the videos. But all these things, all these things, they can change the um, from Bulgarian to English. Uh, yeah, they have ability to 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 work. Uh, and to work with the system, but this is custom. It's not possible to use the plugin correctly if you want to do the big system. And it was nightmare to create a WooCommerce with the extra code to do it from WooCommerce to ERP system, from WooCommerce to another one. Just my idea was to, to create a website, one website that has a blog, podcast, to have ability to listen the episodes, podcast episodes, to have ability to use the blog system that is integrated in WordPress and everybody can use it very easy because WordPress mainly is for that. And to have ability, in, this is available only in my merch in Bulgaria, but to, to have ability to uh, use uh, um, store and to buy something. This is actually WooCommerce part here. And you gave me one more idea. So you're showing here your course and everything. So Shopify is mainly for selling products, you sell online products. 
it's not good for selling courses. You can't customize the page the way you show here in WooCommerce. So it's not good for selling courses. It's mainly for selling physical products. You can't customize it uh, in a very good way like you did in WooCommerce to sell digital products. Yeah, so this is the reason that uh, before we start with the full guide for Shopify, I want to share the difference between Shopify and WooCommerce because a lot of people asking me. But at the end, every platform, even custom, Magento, WooCommerce, OpenCart, Joomla, it's not an inventor. This is only the tool that grab the attention of the people. After that, they pay, buy your items. And if you are good, if you are good in WooCommerce, you will be good even in every other platform of the world. Then we also have a builder here. See, if I go here, I can I can go to edit with Elementor and I can do everything that I want with Elementor. It's it's pretty similar to Shopify. It's pretty similar to Shopify. I, I will show you, I want one field, what field you want. I want to be with the two or three or four different places. I have a drag and drop, I have, a, I want image, okay. Yeah, let's, let's go and change the image. This is the, I want to change it. It will come here. I want a text, I want a button. I want everything that I want is, is actually here. I want media player or, or YouTube link or text or everything that I want. I can do it with the Elementor. It's it's pretty similar to every other platform with the builder. Uh, and some people say I use ClickFunnels of Russell Branson. It, it costs $150 per month. This is $100 per year. I don't see any difference actually because I actually I think that this is better than Russell Branson ClickFunnels because uh, the ClickFunnel is limited software. This is unlimited software. You can always put your own con um, if you are a good programmer or if you have a, a connection with some some team. You can always put some extra options some uh, extra functionality here then Th this is very good then I, I think that every platform can do the job just it depends from the person that use it is he has uh, uh, skills for that okay then le let's leave this to this way shopify is expensive from time to time is slower it depends from the market if you want to sell in bulgaria with shopify it will be slower because the servers are not in in bulgaria uh, it 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 need to be used many apps. It it has a problem with the customization, as every every ready platform you receive fast web store. Uh, it's it's good you receive it fast, but at the end uh, it's uh, it's normal to be uh, not fully yeah. cust customizable. Yeah, it's it, not customizable. It it, ha it has limitations. Then limitations are to uh, boot platforms. Okay. Then let's go to let's go back to the profit. Now I, I hope the people that watch my watch my channel to have uh, idea what's the difference between the different platforms. Now we will calculate how much profit you can take from one product and how to calculate exactly the profit that because because a lot of people start drop shipping and after they calculate at the end of the month they realize that it's not so good and the profit is not so big then okay uh let's let's explain this you buy the product for 12 dollars yes. this is with additional taxes sell the product for 25 pay stripe taxes three percent yes uh this is the so. ads that they they can be high or low it depends from the competition time of the year it depends from everything it depends from the market. You can do this with Google, but Google is much more expensive. And this is the profit, clean profit after we deduct the ads, Stripe tax and buying price. But but let's show to the people what they need to pay actually to have a story in WooCommerce. Shopify. Yeah. Storage. <laughs> I use WooCommerce all the time. And okay, then uh, this is the This is the real real story, how much money you need to, to start actually. Uh, you start with uh, around $2,000 to start selling one product, right? Around that. 
Yeah, I, I it's this budget for testing different products, but uh, yeah, and uh, basically the beginners they can start with less apps uh, and later add those apps. But you really need some of these, like uh, you need them in order to increase your average order uh, uh, value, and uh, those apps will really help with that. So you can basically start uh, with less apps, but you make uh, less profit. So you need high budget to start in Facebook. Facebook is very competitive, the ads are expensive. So you need like a few thousand dollars to start because you test many different products and you have to learn quickly. You have to learn because you spend money. Each dollar you spend, uh, think, think of it like an investment. You spend $100, test a product, you look at the metrics and decide what went uh, good, what went wrong, and uh, keep testing. So all this, this is investment for you. With this money, you invest in order to learn uh, how the ads work. So if you have two, three thousand, it's very good to start. You, you can't really start with uh, $500. It's, it's a really small amount that you, you need really a lot of luck to be successful from the first time. It will definitely be just luck by testing random products the first time. So you need a very good budget to, to test uh, uh, more products and to test your marketing skills and to learn. So this is investment amount. This is not gambling. Uh, this is not gambling to test uh, just random products from, from AliExpress. This is for you in order to learn how the ads work uh, and which products do well and you want to test your marketing skills. Let's explain the things. Think about that information. Uh, very often I, I see I, I see some guru to say, oh, you need only 100 or 200 dollars, then you, you crush that meat right now. Uh, and uh, let's, let's calculate for the people uh, how much money you need to start in Shopify, really to start. It's not WooCommerce. In WooCommerce, you need only domain for the beginning and uh, server. Server can be some hosting for $5 per month. But here, uh, you have uh, 300, 300K dollars uh, for nine months. But before doing this, you need to pay the subscription. Subscription can be uh, less, of course. It can be 29, but we calculate if you want to have real store with real profit with uh, maybe the taxes are different on lower plan. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, yeah the taxes are uh, like 1% higher. So the subscription for 79, you get 1% uh, less tax for the total amount which you pay because Shopify also takes like a 2% uh, tax, but with this $79 plan, it becomes 1%. Then this is so, not only zero seven. No, it, no it's, 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 like this, it's like this. So I added like about 1% more to, to this. So it's like about 3% is, uh, is the correct one if you use uh, this, this plan. Okay, then uh, we we have seventy nine dollars uh, because of that. Uh, we have uh, app to create a pages. What was the name of the app? This is the gym pages app, which yeah. allows you to create. Can you can you spell it for me? I I do not know the name. G, uh, e, like e, M. Gym pages. Yes, gym pages. Okay, uh, I I hear now. Uh, Okay. You, can create you need to pay twenty nine dollars because of that. This is a yeah. Mailchimp, MailerLite, uh, yes, some mail service. Yes, depends how many emails you want to send at the same time. That's it. so the Rush. That's a Bulgarian app which allows you to send uh, many different emails to the clients and inform them every way of the, of the package to the customer. So when the package leaves the country, when it arrives in the customer's country, when it's released from customs, and you can also not only just inform them, but you can also sell them products. So for example, you say, 
the, the product just left your country and below you can add things like uh, freq frequently bought together and, and list uh, some of your products. So people actually open your email, they get information about their package and they see different items uh, from your store and they can buy. So you increase your average order value with this uh, app. Then every every step is counted and uh, just the email, uh, the, the customer receive email, your item is in process, uh, your item is shipped, your item is uh, yes. flying to the country Brazil, your, yeah. your item uh, go to Brazil and now it will be in the shipping center there. It, it go to, it comes to your city, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Yes. Every, every step is, is sketched and you receive. Okay, SMS bump is something that it's for uh, SMS, to send the SMS to the people. Yes. SMS is extremely important. So the open rates for SMS are really high. Uh, so when you send someone SMS, you like, it's like 90, 80, 90% uh, open rate. So you can use SMS to do a abandoned cart checkout. So when someone adds, in, adds your product in cart, goes and checkout and writes uh, his email, his phone number and address and then leaves the checkout, with this one you can set automatic flows. So it will send uh, SMS to the client's phone number and you inform them about uh, about the their order. So the chance of Of, uh, of the customer to buy is really high. So you just set up the automatic flows and uh, leave it there. It's You don't need like much involvement from your side, just in the beginning, like in the rush. Okay, then uh, this is important. Uh, let's go to, this is Bulgarian LLC, but if we speak in English, then I will change this to USA LLC. And here I use uh, Inkplan. This is my provider for the LLCs in, in USA. Then uh, we use it for dropshipping. I mainly, my main business is uh, dropshipping, not uh, stores. Uh, we go to the US company formation and we open the Delaware LLC. And uh, the Deluxe plan is the best plan that we can use actually. Just because uh, if we pay the Express Digital, we need to add some of the missing things. Uh, it, you, we need, we still need a forwarding address if we are not in USA, etc., etc., and that we will pay more than five hundred dollars. Then I will write for a LLC company five hundred dollars. If someone want to form the LLC company, he can contact me at uh, email support s at smpro.net. I will write it here because I do mistake. Then uh, LLC company sweet upsell is uh, the tool for the upsells, right? Yes, so this uh, this app is actually when you check out, after the customer checks out, he gets notification. If you, uh, so for example, you can say only one time uh, discount for this product. So when the customer is, the customer is in, in the buying uh, experience, you provide him one more product after he or she checks out. So you increase the order average order value with this one with the sweet up so it's very good app to have okay then and yeah uh, it's about 20 dollars and uh, the last one uh, what was it it's uh, UB this is something that I I write it like that because I didn't know the name again um, I need to check uh, this one <laughs> Just okay Okay, then uh, you, you have some extra taxes if you are with uh, USA LLC to the Petco check this. I will tell you that the, you need to pay the business license. You need to have ability to buy uh, some phone number from USA. You can use Sonetail or Dinkton or whatever you want. Uh, but I, I recommend, highly recommend the Dinkton because they have ability to receive the SMS. If you use the Skype, nobody will have ability to send you SMS to your number and it's very important uh, if you want to do the sales of the high priced products, then you find it? Did yes, you find it? Yes. So, so this, this is the app, uh, it's called Unlimited Bundles and Discounts. So <laughs> this app uh, allows you to sell multiple uh, 
quantities of the products, and this increases the average order value. For example, you can say uh, get two products for which extra 20% off, and if the products make sense to buy like two or more, uh, the customer can buy, and with this you can increase your average order value. So this is a really a must have. Okay. Then uh, let's let's calculate some of the total. We need to pay around uh, one one k dollars subscriptions every month before we start with Shopify. This is not necessary if you use the WooCommerce. Uh, we need to have uh, two three thousand dollars at the beginning for uh, A/B testing and product testing. We need to pay the software for research and uh, to. I'm sorry, this is one time payment. Uh, yes. Okay, then we need to pay, yeah, monthly we need to pay around uh, $400 subscriptions and we need to have at least two, three K dollars for a start of our business. Okay, let's let's go to the skills. Uh, and uh, after that we will show how to research one product and how to create advertising and how to do the next steps in this business. Then, uh, I will translate this. Uh, like, uh, mid middle, uh, mid level. I I think that this is enough. Uh, uh, we will show how this tool is working actually. Uh, acceleration from time time to time. You will use the CSS HTML. Okay, I will leave this. Uh, this is uh, marketing. Um, video edition. Recommended. Uh, to make uh, pictures, videos. Yeah. Uh, and. Uh, um it, it's 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 very good to have some skills with the um, OS uh Windows or Mac because uh, I I see a lot of people that come to me and says oh I want to start in this business but they didn't have any skills they didn't know how to use the shortcuts how to do the how to, how the computer works how to install some software how to research how to use it there uh from other other they they do other other work all their lives and they they didn't realize that you need to have a skills to do the business because uh, without a skills you can pay every course of the planet but you will not receive any value from from the course and uh, n I, I I'm not sure that you will find a course that will teach you on all these things at the same time you need to buy a different courses for Facebook marketing for uh, how to use uh, CSS, HTML, Photoshop, uh, Adobe Premiere or Camtasia. Uh, it depends from the software that you will use for uh, video editing. Then um, th this is a lot of a, a lot of things that you need to know before you start. Okay, uh, let's let's show to to the people how they can start with uh, AdSpy. Uh, I will. Yes. I will, so I this is uh, this is one of the apps which you can use. This, apps, uh, this app analyzes the Facebook ads uh, and shows you many different ads which are doing well or bad. Uh, you can choose different criteria there, but this app, the ad price is expensive. It's more than $100 per, per month. Uh, so there is a really good alternative to it. And this is the Drop Spy, which is only $35 per month. Are they here for a free version, Ad Spy? Uh, yes, but uh, you have to find a discount code separately on the internet. Uh, uh, free version? Yeah. Yeah, for the free version, you have to find uh, something like a referral link, which will allow you to use it. Then if I, if I click get started, I will not receive the free version option. Actually... Let's try, think, let's try. Yeah, let's try. Okay, then let's re register myself.
Yeah. Uh, if you have refer link, it will be way cheaper for the first month, as you can see. So we can provide uh, the link for the discount for the first month after you register. Okay, then uh, let's go to the just to write uh, ad spy here. Uh, I I use uh, I use my other other PC. I'm sorry, uh, other other monitor. This is the reason that you didn't see. Okay, then uh, confirm your email. Yep, and now we are there. Yeah, let's see. Cool. So, uh, see the ads. Okay, we actually can, but uh, can you go in my account on the? Yes. So we, yeah. Uh, okay, so we have like one thousand views less left. It says here on the subscription. Okay. So I can see like about one thousand ads, something like this. It's good because in in the other channel we show the other the other two. Then currently we can show this one. Yeah, okay. So what? When you start yeah. from where to start? So I do total likes. Uh, I, you can the total likes are top uh, right corner. Yeah, right. Yeah, total likes. Like do at least two two hundred. Three hundred. Yeah, to three hundred. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I do. If I want to see recent ads, so ads which are created recently, I go in the created between. Uh, field, yes, I do in the past two months of the ads. Yeah, so, okay. Now I do. Uh, uh, it, I think it was advertiser. Can you check uh, in the bottom? Yeah, no, it, this is no, this is not no. technologies. Technologies right here. I read shop five. You can you can write it. it there was yeah. Shopify, WooCommerce, I do both because some people use WooCommerce. Shopify and WooCommerce, can you find WooCommerce? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Well, WooCommerce, yeah, you can choose both. WooCommerce, mm. Shopify. Yes, but I... <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, I will close it, I will open it again. I will put Shopify again. This uh, change only <laughs> you can search yeah, only for yeah. one of this. Okay, uh, it's not a you, Yeah, okay, you, we can leave it with Shopify now. Uh, ah, I, I can do it. I, I just need to. I need to. Sorry, I need to scroll to manually to search this. And you have to press the checkbox, not on the yes. Yes, yes, but uh, when I when I use the search on browser, it's buggy. Okay, it's not a problem. It's working. Yeah. Then so countries which is United Kingdom, United States, okay, yeah, Canada and Australia. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Australia. So just not very good interface, I do not like it. However... Yes, it's not so good here. Yeah, buttons, I do shop now in the right uh, bottom bottom right. Shop now and learn more. So it is... Yeah. Okay, so now we search. So we start uh, looking for many different ads and try to identify a uh, dropshipping product from here. And we look for an uh, ad which has very good engagement. Like a lot of likes, comments, so. Okay, let's let's find one dropshipping product together. Yes. Is yes. this a dropshipping? Mm, no, I don't think so. Okay, then. You know them much better than me, cause I I sell in in, in items in uh, ready markets without uh, this type of research. Uh, this guitar. It may be, but uh, it's not a good one. Can okay, go down? Okay, then stop me when you see something yes. useful. Okay, this one, this one, the this link, one uh, above. Maybe because I'm hungry. Uh, about uh, no, no, above. Uh, yeah, this one, this one. This he, one. He yes, this one. Uh, 
this one uh, helps with uh, neck pressure. So can you go a little bit up? And uh, this button, uh, like info button on the right, can you see? Uh, the, no, on the, yeah. can, can you click it? Yeah, this one, this one, exactly next to the arrow. Uh, yes, this one, yes. Okay, so we can see some information like from the ad, uh, the likes, uh, and we can also access their website from here. Can you go down a little bit? Okay, uh, outgoing links. Uh, so those are all the links, and here on the left we can see the likes, the comments, and shares. Okay. And which countries they are targeted. We can also directly download the video from here. There is a download button uh, below the video, exactly below the video, there is a download button. Yes. But uh, it will ask us for, yeah, to subscribe in order to download it. It's not a problem, I can download this video other way. Yeah, so we can play the video here. Also, we see uh, the page. Okay, we, can, yeah, so we can play it. Wait, okay, okay, then let's let's find this up in uh, this. Uh, uh, is it possible to find it in Facebook? Maybe it's very easy. Yes, uh, there is the page there. Wait, you can go back and find the page. It was called Heotology or something like this. Uh, on the Aspire. Uh, okay. Yeah, so you see Heotology, this is the Okay, then yes. let's find the page and let's take the video from there and <laughs> it's yeah, not so a big one, problem. One of the ways is to... Uh, isn't it this one? Yeah. yeah, this is the... Yes, yes, yes. This is, and we can see even here, I think it's the same app, but even with more views. You can see 6 million views, a lot of likes, comments. So this is one of the biggest competitors i seen this one before. Okay, let's let's go to the download Facebook video and download the video. Yep, I will create one yep. uh, project in my PC just to show to people that um, you need to know how to do this. Add test. Those are one of the ways to get the competitor video edited. Uh, even uh, we can add uh, some uh, other videos from YouTube, mix it up so it's uh, different and uh, use this video to advertise after we edit it. We, we don't want to just copy and paste the video because uh, Facebook uh, saves all metadata metadata of the uh, video and photo files so they know when you copy and paste some uh, app which you copied from their website so you don't have to do that you you have to edit the, the video yeah this is what i do i i find some software i download the uh, hd quality uh just just uh, for an example uh in in the folder I will open my Premiere Pro. We'll create a project here, cause it's uh, important to create a project to to work with these things. How it's going with the Premiere? Okay, I will put it at the left. I will create the project. It's a li little bit slowly, cause I record my screen and I'm with three monitors right now, and I. Do, do another job, I export one video when I we speak then. Uh, okay, now uh, let's open the test project. Okay, and we have the project now. Mm. When we open the video in the timeline, the video need to be square. Yes, it needs to be one to one dimension. Yeah, this is important. It need to be with this frame rate. Do this with the with your uh, software that you use, 
and uh, we need to have some skills to edit that video. Then uh, it's not only to put something here. We need to have some skills to edit the video. Uh, yeah, first so we can we need to create some logo or uh, to have ability to remove the current logo. We need to remove the parts of the the video that are not necessary or just to, to change them a little bit because otherwise uh, Facebook will detect that our video is our video is uh, so actually stolen stealed from other person and they will block us. Uh, and uh, we have ability to to download some. Um, I I already pay Epidemic Sound and some other sources, but uh, about the pictures I use Free Pick. Um, I I use uh, Invento Elements uh, about the elements online. You can you can find everything here, but you need to buy the premium access. Uh, you can. You can download the free music. Uh, free copyright free music. Copyright, yes, thank you. Uh, and uh, actually, this is my my normal, but ah, free reality music. Uh, yeah, I think it was this one. Ben Sound, uh, the website from yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Or free reality music. Yeah, thank Ben Sound. Same, yeah. Yeah, you can download everything that you need from here. You can yeah, load it in the software and uh, you yeah. need to edit it. I, I will not show the full process here because I, I didn't uh, uh, do the course now for uh, how to edit the videos. But uh, the idea is the idea is to add the music behind this, to cut the music, to slice the video a little bit, to be a little bit uh, different to remove the music uh, from the main music from the source to put some text here to create logo yesterday we show how to create logo online with the just some uh, free software you can buy from if you want to do something professional it's it's better to buy it from fiverr or from upwork or from some designer that can do this but uh, um, it's not a problem to do this yourself. I will show you what logo we do. Yesterday online with uh, some website. Uh. Yeah, to create a logo it's uh, very easy. So you need logo, uh, you need uh, royalty free music and uh, different videos from uh, Facebook, from YouTube mixed together and uh, relevant captions. So. When you make the video, you need uh, a very good. Uh, uh, so the structure is like this: the first three seconds they are crucial. They are really important. They must grab the attention of the customer who looks at the video. Then, uh, after that, you have to uh, show the benefits of the product. So not specification, but benefits. You have to show how pro this product will change the life of the customer. And then in the end, you have to out a call to action, which uh, tells the customer shop now, 20% uh, of free shipping or whatever your offer is. Okay, thank you about this explaining. Uh, what we have here, we have a text, we have a logo and we have white background. Uh, don't use the black text or ba black backgrounds. They are not very good. Uh, and uh, about the colors, you need to have your own colors. Uh, like uh, I will show you. See the branding now. See the zero to success. All the colors are orange and blue. And my logo is also orange with blue. And uh, you can go to the Photoshop Adobe. Adobe color circle, yes, and uh, you can find the best colors from here. Usually, I when I do something, when I do something, uh, now you, you see that on the this orange is this green, or on this yellow, these are good colors for the yellow. Then when you do this, you can see that you can use A, B, C, this is actually close to that two colors is good. You can take the codes from here. Or when you are in Photoshop, this is one trick that I showed yesterday and we will show it here in English then. 
uh, when you use this uh, tool for the course, uh, you can just open open the, the website here and the Photoshop here. And when you drag and drop, you can take any, any cover that you see. You, you see that the cover is changed at the left of the screen here. And uh, if, you, if I want to fill the, this black here, I just, uh, I just can start dragging and go here and it's filled. Then um, other very good ways, uh, go to the some website that is already branded like um, Facebook, any good store like Apple store, open the some already branded uh, web store and you will see that they have uh, main cover this main cover with the white this is there they have clean style um, yeah. so black white and one more color like accent color and you don't have to make it really colorful very simple you need everything to be simple yes it's because the customer already already see how how the big brands are very very close one to another they not uh, change the menu position, the card position is always in the top right corner, uh, the best products are always on the main page, then um, the idea is here then if the customer usually use Walmart, Amazon, AliExpress, etc, 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 and go to your website to understand your website very often, this is very heavy website design, I think about the Walmart, but they also have logo with the yellow and white and blue. These three colors are main colors and they use them always and in, in the email addresses, uh, their card, if you purchase the Walmart card plus, you will receive again, blue, yellow and white. And uh, if you grab, if you, if you grab actually uh, this, this blue, that uh, I already see. Yeah, I, I, I have this also, but it's it's not a problem. And if you go here and test it here, you will see that their, their blue is very close to the, and very good to the yellow. And you see yellow and blue colors. I, I, I think that they use this blue, but a little bit more, more darker. Okay, this is for the course, this is for the um, video, this is for the skills that you need to have to create some ads. You can find another video from the YouTube. Uh, you can uh, just use two or three ads to fill one. And uh, here is some very important thing that you shared yesterday about the hook uh, at the beginning of the video that we need only three we have only three seconds to grab the attention of the of the people. Yes, the customer. So the attention span of the, uh, of the customers, uh, it's really low. So if we don't grab their attention at the beginning, they will just skip our video and continue scrolling. So it's very important to make like not only one video. When we test in Facebook, like uh, two or three videos is recommended with uh, three different, it's called scroll stopper, with three different, three seconds in the beginning. So in order to test the uh, distance, which one works the best, because we never know until we test. If something looks good for us, uh, it may not be for the other people. So uh, just you have to test the video, uh, look at the data and take this informative decision. You can decide just only by yourself, whatever you like. You have to test it and see. Okay, then uh, we, we discuss everything about the product, store subscriptions, pros and cons of that platform. Uh, what's the skill level that you need to, to do? Because a lot of people start in this journey without any skills and they want to do anything, but it's not possible to do anything on this high, high market right now. Uh, it's full with new people there. It's full with people that spent a lot of money, but they didn't realize uh, exactly what to do. 
and what will be the result at the end. And they pay a lot of money. This changed the advertising price. This changed the market. And this uh, just uh, this is just a competition about the price because uh, the ads working on the um, trade principles. I mean that if uh, if uh, Petco uh, buy that for uh, ten dollars for a thousand views and I go and put same ad but with double budget, the Facebook will show my ad and will stop using uh, his ad because I pay more. Uh, this is the most important that we need to remember. Then the, the advertising will go higher every next year and uh, as he already told you, the best time to start in this business is today because after a year it will be harder, after two years it will be harder and uh, this is the reason that I didn't like this type of the models. This is very good to start because uh, it's not so complicated. But uh, this model is something that don't give any, any value to the customer then. Uh, it's uh, okay to start, but uh, it's it's better to start give the value for the customer. Can you, can you give me some information how you, you can give the value of the customer? Yes, so the dropshipping is like if you just sell a product uh, from China, which most probably the quality will be low, uh, that's that's not just a good way uh, for the customer. Like it's not a good customer experience to sell just a cheap product to the customer. Uh, so the dropshipping is business model which you can build quickly capital, but then you have to transition to something more sustainable. Okay, you can start only by selling some products, but you have to provide a real value to the customer. The the product should be really what you say it does. So it should fix, uh, for example, the, the back uh, problems with the back, with the knees, with the elbows, if it's a problem solved product. So it really must do what you say it does. And not only that, in order to increase the value, for example, if we, if we sell a product which uh, helps with uh, back pain. We can also create a, just a PDF document with few pages and exercises of, uh, for example, uh, morning exercises for the back. So when you wake up, you do some exercises and you feel better. So we can create this document and provide it to the customer after, uh, uh, after they purchase the product. So that's one of the ways to provide free ebooks which are relevant. Some other ways is to provide uh, products like gifts. Of course, they have to be relevant. You can uh, sell one product, for example, if you sell jewelry, you can uh, send the customer gift products, some different other type of jewelry. So gift products, uh, ebooks, uh, videos which help the customer. So anything uh, which will just add value, not only to the product, not, not just the product, but uh, will add value to the customer. So the customer, just put yourself in the shoes of the customer. How would you feel if you just uh, bought a cheap product from China? And of course, it didn't meet your ex expectations, you're angry, you want to write uh, bad comments, give bad reviews. Uh, so just put yourself in the shoes of the customer. You have to provide a good service and increase the value by providing more for free. I mean, not for free. You you already included it in the price, but in the in the eyes of the customer, it will look like the the deal is worth it. Okay, thank you very much about this uh, detailed information. Uh, can you can you? Tell me about some tricks that we can do or what to do uh, about that value. Or can you, can you sh share me some example with that? Uh, you, you sell some product and you give the extra information. Okay, so even if you don't have like, this information, you don't know how to make the PDF and uh, add some uh, exercises. In this, in this case, if you sell like a product for back pain, a very good way to do that is, is just to pay once, go in Fiverr and find someone who can create you a, uh, a ebook, like a quick short ebook for the topic of something you want. 
So you pay for this ebook just once and then you sell it to the customer multiple times. That's one of the ways. Or if you if you want to create like a quick if you sell some educational toys, uh, maybe you can create a, a quick a quick course. So when the customer purchases the products, he gets access to the uh, he gets access to the platform, uh, which you can see many different videos. For example, how to use the product better, how to learn uh, better with this educational toy. Um, so you, all this, you, you don't need to know how to do that. You can just go in Fiverr or Upwork and pay someone to create this for you. So you pay it just once and use it multiple times. That's one of the, the very good ways to do that, to increase the value. And you don't need to be expert in the field which you are selling. You, you can just pay once to someone and use the content. Okay, then thank you very much about that. Uh, I, I think that this is enough. If you have some uh, questions uh, with Petco, we'll do some video very soon uh, again and uh, we'll uh, give you the answers and uh, we will answer also in, in our comments in YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and to support us with one like or dislike. It depends from what you're feeling. Uh, and don't forget to watch the videos about the Amazon dropshipping. Thank you very much and bye for now.